Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. We're in here in this pit underneath uh, the southern area of Termina Field. So now that we've gotten our rupees from both bushes and that chest, uh, we can go over here and actually get something from Tingle this time. Uh, we should stop moving up and down. There we go. Ooh, looks like that hurt. Alright, so let's talk to him, and he's just going to give us the same little speech he did before, so I'm going to skip through it real quick. Lucky, lucky, blah, blah, blah. We bought one of Tingle's maps. Yes, let's go ahead and buy the Woodfall map, since that's where we're heading after all. If you wanted, you could buy it from uh, Clock Town, but I think it costs 40 rupees there, so, you know, you might as well just wait and get it now, because you didn't need it until then anyway. Alright, so let's uh, his little magic words. That's great. And let's, uh, no. Do not talk to me again. No thanks. Oh, man. Okay, that was a real mistake. I'm not going to press A. Phew. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Okay, so now when we head to the south out of that area, you can see we have entered the Southern Swamp, and this is pretty much the uh, first new area of the game. So, that's really cool. There are a couple things that we want to uh, go ahead and do in the swamp here. Uh, we're going to go across this bridge first and check out the very obvious building in front of us. So we'll climb the ladder. But before we actually uh, go really inside the building, one head over to the left here, you can see there's another one of these uh, Deku guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on a Deku Scrub clientele. Actually, I want to do business at the palace, but there's this big octopus, and nothing really can be done about it, so I set up shop here. Do you know what magic beans are, sir? I'll sell you one for ten rupees. Uh, no, don't buy any from him. Uh, it's, it's, you don't need to. Um, so I'm going to need to talk to him as a human to do this, actually. I forgot. Thanks for stopping. You're not from here, are you? You just watch me transform, and you're talking to me like I'm someone else. I sell magic beans to Deku Scrubs, I really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier place. But to open a business in another place, you need to go through the proper channels first. You know what I mean? Well, I do, actually. I've got this deed for a flower in Clocktown. Oh, that's a Townland title deed. A Townland title deed? I wish you'd let me have that. I'll give you this land in return, deal? So he's going to trade our Clocktown title deed for a Swamp title deed. Awesome. I'm going off to town right now. I'll leave the rest up to you. Yep, so he's going to fly off, and that sort of completes another leg in this whole trading quest, beginning with getting the Moon's Tier. And of course, with every new area we venture towards, another one of these guys is going to be there, wanting the previous guy's title deed. So once we get to, like, the final area, it's really going to start sucking, uh, because we have to get the Moon's Tier, the Clock Town title deed, the Swamp title deed, the next title deed, the next title deed, you know, and so on and so forth. So that can get a little bit tedious, but thankfully you only have to do it a few times. So you want to use his flower to shoot yourself up here and get a piece of heart. We've assembled a new heart container, so we're already up to six now, which is pretty cool. And we don't really need to check anything out inside the building for the time being, but I think I'm gonna, going to uh, go ahead and check it out anyway. So if we come over here, we can see uh, there's this thing here we can speak. Old Kume's boat cruise. Take it off is closed. Please inquire at the Magic Hacks potion shop near the edge of the swamp. So, yeah, remember Kome and Kotake? Well, they actually have a... Well, at least Kome has a business here, so that's kind of different. But she's not there, so we need to inquire at the Magic Hags Potion Shop, apparently. Which is pretty much what we're going to do next. Uh, but before we really go any further, you can see there's actually another owl statue over here on the west side. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually progress a little bit down the swamp here. Um, it's probably best to do this as Deku Link. As we get further down, we're going to see the water is actually poisoned, and it'll hurt um, Hylian Link if he tries to swim in it. It's not yet. As you can see, the water's really clear. You'll know when it gets poisoned because it gets this really purple tint to it. But for now, it's really just faster to sort of hop across as Deku Link, you know? Okay, so let's go in here, and uh, we've encountered another big, obvious building. So, uh, let's see what the sign says. Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. I don't care about your spring water, I want to know what this place is. Alright, well, let's climb up and find out. There's that moon again. Tony. it's just always hanging over you there. Alright, so let's go in. This definitely looks like a potion shop to me. And, of course, Magic Hacks Potion Shop, and look, it's Kotake! And it's their theme song from Ocarina of Time playing, too. Tee hee hee, welcome! My potions work very well, they do. Are you, by chance, a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate! Komei has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. 
Now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could you go find her for me? Hmm, yes, it's easy getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Yeah, so they've kind of taken a very friendly turn here. They're now just casual shop owners. So, oh well, there you go. I guess that's kind of neat, but we don't really need to buy anything from her. We need bottles to buy her stuff anyway, so it wouldn't matter even if we wanted to. But um, as Kotake mentioned, Kone went back here into the woods. The woods of mystery. Beware of ferocious turtles. That doesn't sound too bad. I think we'll be fine. So let's head in and look for her, pretty much. Um, and as you can see, there's a monkey here in front of us, and these monkeys are actually quite intelligent. Hmm, follow me. Uh, okay, sure. So he's gonna get going, and now we need to follow him. This is much like Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time. Um, also, I guess, hence Saria's song playing in the background. But, uh, of course, if you take the wrong exit, then it will send you back to the beginning. So, uh, just make sure you follow the monkey. He can be easy to lose, though, because he is quite quick. Especially if you're trying to avoid the stupid turtles. So... All right, he, he does try to fake you out a little bit, too. He'll go towards one exit, but then circle back and go on another. It's really annoying. Don't, don't pick the thing up. I think this is the last one, anyway. Yeah, it is. Oh, ow, 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 help me! Uh, you all right here, lady? I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms, when BAM! I got hit from behind! That pesky skull kid! Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow! To think he's that powerful, and now I can't even move! You, don't you have anything that gives you energy? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> ah, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. Ouch, that hurts, man. Jeez. Okay. So anyway, we found her here, but she's in some kind of trouble and apparently can't get up, so that's not good. But anyway, we can head out any one of these exits and it will send us back to the swamp. So now that we've uh, found... Uh, which one was that? Was that Komei? Yeah, that was Komei. Um, we're going to have to go back and pretty much tell the other sister about it. I hate saying their names because I have, I have to like say them so much, but... Alright, so, uh, hey, I found your sister, lady. Tee hee hee hee, welcome! My potions work very well, they do. Yeah, you've already told me this. What's that? The Skull Kid got to Komei! That's ridiculous! If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. <laughs> well, sudden change of heart there, we didn't even say anything. So she's gonna give us a bottle of red potion, which replenishes health, of course. Uh, blah blah blah. Quick, take that potion to her. So uh, now that she's given us the red per potion, she's actually also given us our first bottle here. So that's kind of cool. We're going to get to keep that, of course, once we give the potion to uh, her sister. But as you can see, we've got a lot more slots for bottles in this game. So uh, I think there are six of them, if I counted right. All right, so now that we've got the potion, we're going to have to go back and head through the Woods of Mystery one more time. I'm pretty sure he takes the same path uh, the second time you go through. That would make sense. But of course, I wasn't paying attention to what it was, so we're going to have to follow him again. Yep, it looks like he's pretty much going the same way, but that's all right. We'll just follow him through this time. Whoa, holy crap. See, that's what I mean. He really tries to fake you out there. I really almost fell for that one. Right, he's going this way. See, I really don't understand why he couldn't, for one, go a little bit slower, and second, not run around in circles all the time. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah, those guys don't do too much damage, so they don't really even need to worry. Alright, so here she is, and before you just go, you know, putting the potion on your button and hitting it, thinking you're going to give it to her, don't do that because you will drink it right in front of her and have to go through again, which is kind of funny, but, you know, it wastes some time, so let's not do it. Ow, ow, yow! Don't you feel obligated to help a sorry old hag when you see one? Yeah, here you go, old hag. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's. Yep, so she gulps it down pretty quickly, I might add. <laughs> oh, feel the energy flow. Komei is revived! Well, alright, glad to hear it. You saved me. I'm the Swamp Tour Guide. I run the boat crew, so come by if you want a free ride. <laughs> yep, so off, off she goes, and that's good, because we're actually going to need her for something later, so... Um, that's pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and head back out and back into the swamp area. We've been spending a lot of time around here, and now the monkeys are going to come out and not let us through. It's actually kind of cool how they sway back and forth whenever you walk that way. I always thought that was pretty neat how some of them's kind of spread out, but whatever. Let's talk to them. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. 
Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall strange. Brother go to temple. But brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Diku only. Brother captured by Diku, now in palace. Help! Ah, so these adorable little monkeys have given us our next uh, little thing to do. So we'll definitely have to make sure to look out for their monkey brother. But Okay, so um, before we go any further, I'm going to uh, actually fill this bottle of water with some spring water. Uh, to fill this bottle of water with water. To fill the bottle with water. There we go. Um, you don't really need the spring water for anything, and you don't really need it right now. There is a chance to get it later, which is right next to where you need it, but, well, let's just go ahead and do it for preparation's sake, I suppose. So now that we have saved Kome, she's gone back to her little post in the uh, tourist building that we went into before. So we're going to have to make our way back there. No, don't want to read the sign. So uh, Deku Link looks like he's up again. <laughs> that hopping sound gets a little bit catchy after a while. Alright, so let's head back into the building, and let's see if we can talk to her. Hey, there she is. Oh, thanks for what you did back there, and a special deal just for you. I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now, so we're giving this out for free. And she's going to give us a pictograph box, press C to look through it, and A to snap a picture. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, but you can retake it as many times as you like. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to that fellow over there. All right, the boat's leaving. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C, then press C to look through it. Please enjoy the swamp scenery to your heart's content. Okay, so now we've got a little automated boat cruise, and we get to see the sights of the swamp, pretty much. We don't have to... This, this is a really weird camera-type thing, by the way, because Link doesn't really move, but... I don't know, this, it's just different than what I'm used to, but anyway, you can see uh, there's some interesting little things to take note of. It's mostly all just pretty for the time being, but um, there is a frog over there, much like the musical frogs in Ocarina of Time, looks like. Got some rupees on some flowers, and holy crap, it's a big octo! <laughs> yeah, the boss from Lord Jabu Jabu's belly is just kind of sitting there, and we've run over it with a boat. Uh, whoa, this is pretty cool looking. Check this out. Oh no, do you see him up there? Oh man, I do not want to talk to you again. Stop looking at me, you're really creepy. <laughs> Alright, so we've now arrived at the Deku Palace, apparently. Swamp water's poisonous here, so please watch your step. And yeah, you can tell because it's kind of got this purple tint to it. Disembarking? Yeah, let's get off. Alright, so... This guy's just gonna watch us from over there. I, I really never noticed that you could actually see him from here. That's just... That's really creepy, man. Alright, anyway, let's talk to the monkey and just... Uh, or not, and just pretend he's not there. Okay, so we head in, and this is... Oh god, there's that moon again. I'm telling you, it's spotting him all over the place. This is the Deku Palace. So, uh, our first real big area outside of Flock Town, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some interesting uh, layout. It's very nice and, symmetri and symmetrical, as you can tell from the map. So, got some lily pads going to the right and left, and of course, um, a couple Deku guards there. So, uh, let's go ahead and walk up to them and see what they got to say. Oh, Doc. There you go. This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Oh, okay. Well, will this work? Hey, it's somebody completely different and not the guy you just saw transform. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Oh, I will definitely make sure to. So, here we go. We've got kind of a three-way split, and uh, straight ahead is the uh, Royal Chamber, as I'm sure the sign will say. Royal Chamber ahead, of course. So, uh, I think this looks like a pretty good place to stop. Next time, we will head into the Royal Chamber and uh, see if that foolish monkey is the one we're supposed to save. So, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.